Some people are really upset by the news that Waves will be going subscription only in the future. This means any current perpetual license owners will no longer receive updates, even though Waves has been selling update plans all along and saying you can always renew your update plan no matter how much time has passed since you last updated your products. Well, it turns out that wasn't true. Well, you can disregard all of that. This has to be a new world record in corporate backpedaling here because they have completely reversed that announcement in just a matter of days. I had an entire video, like a seven minute long video going into detail about how this may affect different people, but ultimately that is not relevant at all. What is relevant is the amount of goodwill they have burned with this move. I think a lot of people are rightfully skeptical that they are going to deliver on this in a meaningful way without making another ham-fisted mistake here. I think there's speculation that maybe this was part of some marketing play because they are getting ready to raise the rates on the upgrade plans and this was a softer blow than that. I'm not sure there's any validity to that, but they have a lot to prove here in the future and I don't think necessarily that any company would be stupid enough to plan something like this. I think they probably had some really uh, tough hours, maybe a sleepless night or two over there in Tel Aviv trying to figure out what they were thinking and how they can get themselves out of this mess. So far, announcing a U-turn on the whole thing seems to be their best approach, but I don't think folks are going to be super pleased with this whole situation going forward. And I know a lot of folks that don't operate in the part of the industry where Waves plugins are required are simply going to avoid them in the future. You know, this may be indicative of a bigger problem that I've noticed kind of brewing up in the last couple of years is more and more entry level people are on forums and in different discussion spaces online asking if it's possible to mix with stock plugins. And what they mean is like, is it either possible to mix with stock plugins that come with the DAW? And then even more worrying is people asking if it's possible to mix with the tools provided in digital consoles these days without buying these additional plugins. And I think it's absolutely insane and a real shame that young people and newcomers to the to the industry and to mixing audio feel so compelled to spend money on this junk. And there's people out there telling you you need to buy their signature bullshit in order to do the job. And I wish that would just stop. Now, on the other side of the fence, there's people saying that Waves plugins are past their prime or that they're no longer relevant or there's so many other options to go with. And that's not true either. Remember at the top of the industry, Digico consoles and Avid consoles are what people are demanding out on tour. The people that rent those consoles have spent tens of thousands of dollars setting up Wave servers so that you can have the exact plugin from the studio out on tour with you. And that is something artists demand. It's not something that's going to change anytime soon. And the workflow that these systems provide is really critical in that world. Because like computers and everything have gotten so much cheaper and more accessible, I feel like a lot of music producers have like the same toolbox. And I think like to me as a producer, like I always want something to set my stuff apart. What Phineas is talking about in that clip, and I'll link it below, is not buying plugins or sound packs or sample packs. He's talking about using found sounds, sounds he's recorded from literally out on the street and manipulating them to make something unique. And that's the approach more people should be taking, using the tools you have to create something. And along the way, I believe you'll learn much more, especially about how to use those tools and how to achieve the results you're after quicker. And you'll have more money to spend on stuff stuff that really matters. With that being said, I would love to hear your opinions and how this affects your workflow because everybody's jobs and workflow and how you approach things are different. Let me know in the comments and thank you as always for watching. This one was a little weird.